Welcome to Short View Trading. This is your morning market hit for Wednesday, 10th of February. What matters today for traders? Well, risk appetite was strong yesterday and particularly marked in currencies and commodities. The US dollar, for example, having made a local high earlier this month has been rolling over and was down sharply yesterday. And that was a key tailwind for commodities because they're priced in dollars. You can see oil pushing out to a new high and copper, which has quickly retraced its recent losses, closed at an eight year high. How will risk assets perform over coming trading days? We address that in our daily trading publication available on our website. And in that publication, we make a one to two week trading recommendation on US equity futures, really driven by the positioning, the messaging from our short term models. What's our current view? Well, price action clearly in equity markets has been particularly strong in recent trading days. Have a look at the Dow Jones Global Equity Index, which has continued to squeeze up, also pushing out to a new high again yesterday. And it's arguably even more dramatic in the Russell, which is up over 16% year to date. So on the surface at a headline index level, equity markets appear to be bulletproof. But what if we dig a bit deeper Deeper, and we look at the market internals. How broad based is this equity market rally? Well, that gives a different message, not one of strength, but of deterioration. This chart, for example, measures where all the stocks in the NASDAQ 100 are trading compared to their 50 day moving average. In other words, while the NASDAQ 100 index is trending up, it's being pushed higher by an increasingly small number of stocks. And it's a similar picture at the sector level. Have a look at the US industry groups relative to their 50 day moving average. The breadth of the rally in sectors has been weakening since mid November. And we can really step back and do the same analysis for global asset prices. This indicator, for example, measures the breadth across 35 major asset prices. You can see it fell sharply in late January. But interestingly, the bounce this month has been relatively weak. While US equities have pushed out to new highs and while some commodities like oil and copper have been strong, the rally in risk assets globally has not been broad based this month. And that's troubling because often a deterioration in breadth is what happens before a pullback in markets. You can see that's what happened from early August last year. Breadth across global asset prices began to weaken and that forewarned of a major top in the US equity market, which we had in early September. So breadth bears watching closely. Have a look at our daily rag trading publication available on our website for how we're trading this market. And what are we watching today? Well, in terms of data, we get CPI inflation out of the US for January. In terms of events, Powell is speaking at the Economic Club of New York, and there's lots of earnings, not least from Coca-Cola, Uber, General Motors, and others. That was your morning market hit. Do follow us on YouTube, search under Shortview Trading. Join us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Thanks for listening.